on, move it, Milo! <sighs> yes, my love. Oh, my. Superheroes. Villains, I say to you now, knock off all that evil! Poor overworked Tick. It's not easy carrying the weight of the entire city, is it? Just look at those massive shoulders. All tense and knotted. The back strained with goodness and decency. Relax, let it go. Oh, nice lady. That's right. Come to Venus. Let Venus lift your burden. I want to go back to warm safe. Tick, no! Ow! Uh... She's a criminal. Hey, that's right. I've been her plaything. Villain love goddess, you toy with the hearts of men. Venus, Venus, we love you. Here, take some, some more priceless art. art. No! <laughs> <laughs> You know, Arthur, there's nothing more cruel than a kindness falsely given. Uh-oh. What is it, Tick? Well, you know. Go ahead, dear. I'll stay and fend them off with my newest invention. We don't have time for any of your crackpot contraptions. I said, put that away! We are three stories up. I need you to break my fall. Ugh. Oops. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll just be out of your way then, uh, ladies. Weird couple, your crime spree is at an end. You can open your eyes, Tick. It's all over. Heroic work. There, uh, plunger man? We'll take it from here. Uh, yeah, no problem. I'm late as it is. Uh, more villains to thwart? Tick, he's just a plumber. Plunger Man. Coming on pay-per-view this Sunday night, the super villain event of the year, National 45th Annual Enemy Awards. Brought to you live from an undisclosed location somewhere deep beneath the city. It's the only award show honoring the worst achievements of your favorite super villains. It's evil. Guests include Chairface Chippendale, The Terror, Dr. Friendless, Harriet Curse, Acto Raymond and his All Mollusk Orchestra. They're the worst. Milo, turn that garbage off. Well, I, I don't understand. The enemy awards have always been the high point of your year. Yes, when I was invited. But I didn't get an invitation this year, did I, Milo? Oh, I'm sure it was just lost in the mail. Milo. The only lost male around here is you. We're outcasts! The fiasco in the ladies' room made us a laughing stock, and I blame you! Yes, of course, and I accept that blame. In fact, mirabile dictu, I covet that blame. Oh, shut up. I've got to do something really terrible to get the attention of the awards committee. Something so bad, it's good. <gasps> yes! <gasps> and I have the perfect plan. Oh, you always have a plan, don't you, you big minx? Okay, maneuver 14C. Catch me! <laughs> this just isn't working. I can't fly you. Nonsense, chum. Practice makes perfect. Besides, I'm live weight. We've got to develop new maneuvers. Stay one step ahead of villainy. They're out there hatching new schemes, perfecting their fiendish devices. Oh, when evil sees a twin-headed, Arthur-powered flying engine of justice barreling down upon it, great will be its trembling! Please, Tick. I can't do 14C. I, I can barely do 14B. Okay, places, <laughs> Arthur. Let's try it again. Just think of it. A citywide crime spree committed with the tick at my side. My willing, villainous love slave. I'll be sure to get an invitation. I might even win an enemy! Keep circling the block, Milo. This is his neighborhood. He's got to show up sometime. Oh, that was a great one. I think we caught some lift there. Let's try a big one this time. 
Tick. I can't. I can't do it. Pitch me! Arthur? I don't understand. He's got to be around here somewhere. Hey, catch me? Oh, look, Milo. It's the tick. We were just talking about you. Tick? Now, Tick, you become my love slave. Okay, love slave. Tick! Tick! Oh, hi, Arthur. Tick, that's Venus. Don't let her steal your heart. Okay. Great. You stop this car right now! <laughs> hey, you splattered my sidekick all over your windshield. That does it! silly gadget of yours do anyway? Res ipse loquitur, my cream in it. The thing speaks for itself. Well, use it! Oh, thank you, my well-lotioned goddess. You okay, Arthur? Whoa. Arthur! Whoa! This could be serious. <laughs> Bye, boys. Don't bother waving. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, uh, this is quite a pickle, but no reason to panic, Arthur. Arthur will call for assistance. <laughs> it's ringing. Great. You've reached the American made emergency hotline. She's out of the country toppling an unauthorized dictatorship. Please leave a message at the tone. We, we lost, lost our, our arms. arms! We, we lost, lost our arms! Meet us at the diner! The diner? I'm all tasted up for a BLT! You're going to make Mommy very, very infamous, aren't you? Well... Perfect! No one will ever know the difference between our tick and the real one. Hey, guys. Where are your arms? We don't want to talk about it. Just give us a BLT and two sodas. With, uh, straws? We interrupt this broadcast to bring you this live Channel 17 news bulletin. This is Brian Panade with the latest on this fast-breaking story. The former superheroes known as The Tick and Arthur have joined forces with the evil love goddess Venus and embarked on a terrifying crime spree. Tick, that's about us. Huh? This security video from a Midtown jewelry store clearly shows that the once-beloved arachnid and his winged sidekick have stepped over the increasingly thin line between hero and villain. Dick, we're outlaws. And I don't even look like me. Look, they got my antennae all wrong. Dick! Arthur! We know you're in there! We don't want to hurt anybody, so just come out with your hands up! We don't have hands. We can't possibly comply with their demands. We'd better make a break for it! Yesterday, Arthur, I'd hand you something. You might hand me something back. I could scratch my nose. You could scratch your nose. You could scratch my nose. I could scratch your nose. Oh, there was much nose scratching and much rejoicing. Now look at us. Listen, Tick. 
The papers say that Venus and the robots have been knocking over women's apparel shops all across the city. Oh, great. Not only are my arms committing crimes, but they're stealing girl stuff. She must be putting together one dynamite outfit. But what for? Tick! Venus must be going to the Enemy Awards. Enemy Awards? But those are for bad people. I'm sure we'll find her there. But only villains know where that is. Uh, right. Let's go find us some villains. <laughs> That's the old tick! Now, Arthur, when we get to the evil eye, I want you to stick close and be careful. That place is packed with dangerous characters. And remember, we're unarmed. Villainous door person, step aside. Don't make us bite you in hard to reach places. Tick! Arthur, you crazy nuts! <laughs> Come on in! Hey, welcome to the wild side, Tick. Hey, very, very good work, boys. Feels good to be evil, don't it? Hey, I hear you guys are up for an enemy. <laughs> Tick, these guys think we're villains. Uh, yeah, <laughs> right. So listen, that's the thing, huh? Y you see, I had this invitation right in my hand, and well, my arms fell off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <clears throat> so, uh, where is that award ceremony anyway? Wait a second. Something smells fishy here. I don't think you guys are villains. Oh no, we're we're bad. Oh yeah, the worst. Okay, if you guys are so evil. Why don't you just... Eat this kitten! What? No way, mister! That's just wrong! Just as I thought. Get him, boys! Alrighty, Arthur, this is it. Maneuver 14B. Oh, no. Ah. Yes! Trumble before the twin-headed, four-legged, 11-foot-tall engine of justice that is Maneuver 14B! We'll take that kitten, you wretch. How dare you! I knew evil was bad, but come on! Eating kittens is just plain, plain wrong! And no one should do it, ever! Now, where do we find those enemy awards? Invitations? Of course, my good man. We just got them today. There's a reception in the Atrocity Lounge preceding the ceremony. Here, keep the kitten. What if there's a dress code? So he says to me, he says to me, baby, I'm tired of working for the man. And I says, I says, well then, then why don't you blow him to bits? No one gets in without an invitation. Ooh, but I'm bad, baby. One of these days, milkshake, boom! This is gonna be harder than I thought. That tapping noise. Come on, Arthur. I think I know another way in. Citizens of the entertainment community, we need those costumes. Official superhero business. You kidding? This is my best gig in months. Yeah, I'm straight, chumps. M. Scray chumps? Ladies and gentlemen, the Academy of Evil is proud to present the 45th Annual Enemy Awards! What are you two doing? We're at places! I think this is a truly frightening moment. I'm scared too. I mean, what if we're no good? I've never had tap lessons. And now, 
Please sit back and enjoy this singing, dancing cavalcade of madness, highlighting some of the year's most sinister triumphs from all around the globe. Hey, yeah, uh, got a call about a toilet overflowing? Yes, thanks for coming on such short notice. Right down there. Hey, the award for most improved villain of the year goes to... Oh, uh, Princess Venus! <laughs> that craven love witch is getting an award, Arthur. We got to get out there. And last, but certainly not least, I'd like to thank my partner in crime, my evil other, The Tick. Oh, that does it. <sighs> Ow. Unhand my... my hands, you mechanized menace. You feel very angry, don't you? I understand. Let me help. Don't fight it, Tick. Don't fight it. Fight it, Tick! Fight it! <laughs> Hey, I'm pretty strong! <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm sorry. Uh, I just gotta go back to the van and get another elbow joint. Ah, plunger man! Eat floor, robot! No, uh, get, just hold on, guys! Wait a minute! What, what about all the good times, huh? All the evil we've pummeled, all the kites we've flown, all the puppy bellies we've scratched, huh? All the fragrant flowers we've picked together from the garden of life. And hey, don't I let you hold everything? <sighs> I knew you'd come around. Get him, boys! Fellas, speak to me! Hey, hey, buddy. You need those? Do I ever! <laughs> I think you could help my friend here out, too. Oh, sure, no problem. Move it, Milo! Uh, excuse me a moment, won't you? I don't think so! Um, there's obviously been a mistake. I guess there's a kind of honor among thieves after all, huh? Tick! I'm all me again! Come, Arthur. We've got our arms. Now, let's go clear our names. Well, uh, we're sorry for the uh, mix-up, Tick, aren't we, fellas? Yeah, yeah, yeah much. Yeah, 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 sure. I am. I'm not if you say so. Oh, no, no, gentlemen. It is we who should be sorry. Arthur and I have the utmost respect for the law. Oh, yes, we do. And we never would run from you had it not been absolutely necessary and in the service of a greater good. <sighs> you know, Arthur, when evil is afoot and you don't have any arms, you gotta use your head. And when evil is ahead and you're behind, you've gotta do the legwork. But when you can't get a leg up, you gotta be hip. You gotta keep your chin up and kick some... Tick, we get the idea. Well then, sidekick, give me some of them arms. Oh, okay.